Big honey ass to the fucking keys are what the fuck dude is it is it admiral season first keys are what no chronologically wise first aokiji is revealed to basically he has the same quote unquote physical strength apparently as garp and he beat Garp. He beat Garp in a fucking fight. Then Garp lost. So that was um, not Kizaru, but uh, Aokiji. Aokiji won that fight against Garp. Now Kizaru is here beating the shit out of everybody, just like he was in Sabaody two years ago. And then you just got Akihinu. He just technically just made Kuma run. Are the Admiral fan base get a W? Are they really for the win? One of the toxicities in uh, One Piece fandom base is the Admiral fan base. Them, them motherfuckers, them, them agenda deep, them agenda motherfuckers be very serious. Holy shit, this is Admiral season. Shit. <laughs> Sweating like a bitch. Um. Yo to everybody, man. Um, my apologies. Usually I drop these uh, chapter reviews on like the day that they come out, but man, the timing could not be any more, as Sal would say, you know. So, the reason why a little bit, y'all should already know. This chapter dropped the day that the DLC came out for One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, uh, and I've been up like literally to like four or five something in the morning playing that you know waiting for the chapter to drop and then like it got to the point you know obviously fatigue came in and I got tired you know and fell asleep and all that then I got to get up and you know do all this other stuff um, I'm uploading the first blinks video I'm uploading I'm currently right now I'm I'm trying to save the the Kaido video hybrid Kaido video that I did is it's beautiful is lovely um, and it just, it just, the audio won't sync up. So when it saves, it's like the, the final save is not synced up with the, with the, the final save audio is not synced up. So yeah, um, I've been trying to do that all damn day. I might have to do a major hard restart on the film fourth, but nonetheless, man, that's the reason why I ain't dropped like I, like I really supposed to. That's why you're seeing it right now as you're seeing it now, but Nonetheless, man, um, we finna get into this chapter. It is chapter, this is One Piece, chapter 1092, and it's called Rampage Incident of the Tyrant Kuma in the Holy Land. This is the longest title I've ever seen, I think, so far in One Piece. Um, what we got here? We got Jinbei. It says, color, the cover page requests a giant remorse being attached to being being attached and leaving on Jinbei. I think that is right. I think whale sharks do be having like fish attached to the bottom of them. So I guess this is kind of like funny so to speak some tee hee hee funny. Alright. Let's get on chapter. Uh, Ursula Shop. Okay, so we back at uh, Holy Land as the title basically give out. Okay, um, okay, Kuma's breathing heavy. So, what are you doing? The other day it was the Revolutionary Army. Oh shit, Akinu, and this is a flashback. So. We need to make a timeline for this whole thing between uh, Wano and AK right now. Because it's a flashback, so this happened the the day after uh, Reverie. Um, Akiinu, this is quite the historic destruction incident, Kuma. Uh, some random guard, Fleet Admiral, uh, Sazuzuki. Saka, I mean, Sakazuki. I, I can never call Akiyu like his, like, you know, I can never call him Sakazuki. 
I've gone to other avenues like they they names. So I never can call um, Akiyunu Sakazuki. Um, it says uh, what a you know, what a useless bunch of sh soldiers. Hey Akiyunu, I order I ordered lobster for dinner the other night, but it's the first time it has happened. What will become of the food supply here in Mary Joe's? Say, so, hey, leave that matter aside for now. I'm injured. That tyrant Kuma, he's nothing but a slave. Hurry up and execute him. Please don't kill Kuma. Hey, Kuma. Practice, practical. He steady breathing. If we can't control you, then I can't let a dangerous individual like you to be on the loose. Your mind should have been non mean should have been non-existent anymore. Yeah, that's what it says. Uh, it says someone like you who had I mean, who was the same as being dead. Where exactly are you heading to? Hell, he just took off Kuma's face like he did white beard. <laughs> Seems like you still got blood flowing in you. Yeah, no shit. Oh my god, his face is burnt off. Okay, Kuma's running. Okay, Kuma, you got it. Run, big boy. Stop right there, Kuma. Oh, shit, he got his fucking leg. And Kuma, did, why didn't you leave with that, Kuma? Why didn't you just disappear like you usually do? Flashback within a flashback. You can't... You can have all you want, but Kuma's mind won't ever come back. He himself volunteered to become a combatant weapon. This is when um, Akihino, uh, when Blackbeard Pirates gave Bonnie to Akihino. Yeah, we never got that conversation and never knew who she was talking about back then. When when they first when when we first saw it, we thought they were talking about Ace. Well, yeah. Uh, Says so liar. There's no way he would have volunteered to that. There's just no way. Okay. Uh, hey. Comes into the present of a flashback. Hey, where's Kuma? That. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, no way you can do that. No way, okay, yeah. Yeah, no way you can do that. Um, says, hey, where's Kuma? Don't tell me he gave you the slip. And you call yourself a fleet admiral. I can even, you're just a puppet now. Who has lost everything, including your will and your mind. So where are you heading off to? I can even, what is this sentiment you have right now? Why do you have sentiment right now? I thought you don't like pirate. You don't care for them. Why are you... Something's behind I can even, I, I sense a connection going on between him, Bonnie, and um, him, Bonnie, and um, Kuma. I sense a connection going on. Next page. Oh yeah, we back at Egghead. Um, wow. Says destroy all the sea beast weapons. Okay, the Kumas are destroying the sea beasts. They are seeking to bother the sea. He says, we arrived at the uh, the base occupied the island. Admiral Kizu has broken through the level phase and, locate, and located above the clouds. Oh shit, we get into the fight. You certainly are the man. You certainly, you certainly are the man who defeated Kaido. Okay, okay, Kizaru is acknowledging some shit. You're a formal, but a pirate like you protecting Vegapunk. What is, what's the reason behind this? 
uh, co- uh, uh, well, I just realized Luffy is in Snake Man form. Luffy, if you're in Snake Man form and you have Haki infused, but then again, Katakuri exists. And if Katakuri can use Observation Haki to the point where he can literally move his body to the point where he can dodge the attacks, I'm pretty sure Kizuru can do the same thing with Light. So, question simply answered. It says, okay, that's the question I want to ask. Why do you guys want to kill Old Man Apple? Luffy, really? Uh, Kizu said kill him. Oh shit, Kizu moved. Dude, what the fuck? Kizu is... How far did he... How far did he flew? He's outside of Egghead. Way outside of Egghead. Obviously, I don't want to kill him. I've known Vegapunk for a long time. So please don't get in my way. Acceleration is power. He just kicked the shit out of Luffy. It's a robot. It's humanity. A giant robot of dreams. And he just kicked Luffy through that giant robot. Dude, he kicked Luffy ass. Shit, Luffy's still flying. He gave him a burn. He gave him a one piece burning blood uh, finisher. <laughs> Damn, Luffy's still going. Okay, the ship fell. The robot is destroyed. Okay, the ship fell into the clouds, so it's okay. Okay, Frankie, uh, Bonnie fell. Okay, Lilith, Frankie, and Bonnie, they're running. The Vega Force Zero One is destroyed. Um, damn it all, our dreams. The Vega Force One has been. This is unforgivable. Is the Sunny okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Straw Hat has been blown away. Kizuru, you bastard. Frank, you for the squad against Kizuru? Uh, Kizuru, uh, you've grown so much, Bonnie. Kids these days sure grow fast. You have a grudge on him, right? I have been given orders to assassinate. Oh, maybe this is the real Bonnie. Dr. Vegapunk, that you mean that you hate. The enemy target has changed, uh, changed, Bonnie. Well, my enemy target has changed. Trace Death Thrust. Is that like a court? Yeah, it was. Whoa there. Aside from my mission targets, please don't make me hurt people I know more than I have. I mean, I know. I mean, people I know more than I have. Okay, don't make me hurt people I know more than I have. And he kicks Bonnie ass. Literally. No. Over there is the... He kicked Bonnie ass to the fucking... Sp- Kizuru, what the fuck, dude? Is it, is it April season? First Kizuru, what well, no, chronologically wise. First, 
Aokiji is revealed to basically he has the same quote unquote physical strength apparently as Garp and he beat Garp he beat Garp in a fucking fight then Garp lost so that was um, not Kizuru but uh, Aokiji Aokiji won that fight against Garp now Kizuru is here beating the shit out of everybody just like he was in Sabaody two years ago and then you just got Akiinu he just technically just made Kuma run are the Admiral fan base get a W are they really for the win one of the toxicities in the uh, One Piece fandom base is the Admiral fan base. Them, them motherfuckers, them, them agenda the, them agenda motherfuckers be very serious. Holy shit, this is Admiral season. Shit. Back to the chapter. Uh, it says, damn you, Kizaru. Radical being. Frankie, why would you shoot something that he's made out of? Yo, shit, where did he go? Yeah, exactly, where did he go? Don't tell me. Stella is in danger. Command room, come in. Clanky, uh, the real clack, who's out? Double phase command room. Frankie, you guys are all right? I just heard a big explosion over there. We did it. We cracked the code. Really? You see that, York? Yeah, York, I told you. What? Curse it all. You damn geniuses. It's you, York. All the Vega Punks are the same. I forget it. Uh, says Frankie Coon, the barrier can now be disabled. Have you brought the Vega Force One and the ship on the back of the islet? Um, about that. Oh, Kizaru, your escape plan has been foiled, Vega Punk. Your giant robot of dreams has been blown to bits. Oh, shit, Kizaru's there. God, Kizaru, when did you, and it says, oh, uh, okay, Nami and, let's say everybody's panicking, please, please understand, this mission is tough for me too, I don't want to drag this on for too long, where's Robin? I know she was injured, but I see every mostly everybody there except for Chopper, Robin, Jinbei. Where's Sanji? Okay. Um. Oh shit. Gear fifth Luffy. He's big as hell and he's grabbing Kizaru. Yeah. It's hot. It finally appeared. So this is the rumor. Luffy big as hell. How dare you send me flying all the way down. I crossed I crossed the barrier two times. I thought I was gonna die. Shows the robot from the beginning of this arc, and it says, Oh, robot's alive. The eyes grew mysteriously. Oh, wow, next chapter. Wow, that's a short chapter. Holy shit. Um. Well, we finna get exactly what the fan base been wanting for so long. We don't see how Gear Fear fares against an Admiral. Holy shit. Um, the chapter's still good. Uh, if I was to rate it, I would give it probably a good solid, a good solid five out of ten. Because it was, it was, it was, it was a little action. And it was a little lore. It was a little, and it was more action. And it was, you know, more action. Okay, cool. I, I, I give it that. Um, it's crazy. I really don't have that much to really say about this chapter. Everything was straightforward. I say, if anything, I would say the speculation I would have for the chapter is that Akiinu has Akiinu probably has ties to uh, Kuma and Bonnie in some weird fucking damn way. Because usually Akiinu never really. He don't give a fuck about pirates. He don't. He really don't. He's showing sentiment and all that stuff. Like concern 
for Kuma. Don't know what the fuck Kuma's doing. I mean, we really don't. I mean, his damn face is burnt off just like Whitebeard shit was. And his leg is burnt off, if anything. Uh, I don't know what the hell he wants. He probably, he probably went back to Kama Good Kingdom. With, uh, with Dragoners and them, man. They probably gonna repair his ass. Um, as far as the, the shit that I get, uh, Egghead, yeah, straightforward and cut and clear. Uh, the soldiers on the island and Luffy against Kizaru. Hmm, how should I put this? In the fights that we've seen Luffy had in the past, um, Luffy is very observant of people's feelings. Like he like knows like if genuinely someone's gonna really kill someone or thing. Like he depend it depends on how he observe about you. He he done it in the past. That's how he was able to be Katakuri. And that's how he's able to like know like de deep between different pirates and what and, and what their goals and goals are. Besides the fact of like being nonchalant to a lot of shit. But um I don't think well, no, I think that Luffy does sense that Kizaru, like, does, Kizaru's heart is not into this. He really is. He, he really don't want to do this because he really does genuinely consider Vegapunk as a friend. So that's why he's really not going out. Otherwise, he would have went, like, all out. Like, he probably would have went off grip. He probably would have went off grip and went to, um, went to get fifth. With, like, with that being said, because, like, there was a while back with some slander a little bit, um, that, um, Rob Luffy, uh, he he uh, he forced Luffy to go gear like like their fight. They he forced uh, Luffy to go gear fifth. The thing about that is that Luffy, with past record, knows that Luffy wants to kill. He he has a bloodlust to him, so he's not gonna give him a chance to like he's not gonna give him a chance like we're gonna build up and then I'm gonna go into that like no we're not gonna do that last week. I'm gonna go into gear fifth and I'm gonna beat your ass. That's why he did that against Luchi. And I think that's why he's not doing it off back against Kizaru. Because Kizaru, like I said, he I think he genuinely cares for Vegapunk. That's why he like like that's why he's going to like Snake Man, because Snake Man is the fastest form that he got, so he can be able to like keep up with him, you know, with all like, you know, the the, the attacks and all that stuff. Um going back on Kizaru, I would say basically that if, and I said this with uh, Okiji too, if Okiji is pulling those punches, pun intended, if he's pulling those punches, breaking whole damn galleon ships apart and shit, like that way Gart was doing and all this stuff, then I'm pretty sure Kizaru and Akinu should be around the same spear as uh, Okiji. Because you gotta think, in Marine Four War, I think the Admirals was really pretty much being held back a lot. Like, Kizaru is literally the speed of light. He could have literally killed everyone in that damn war at the speed of light. Akihinu could have just literally just started off the rip. Like, as soon as Whitebeard and them pulled up, he could have literally just said, hey, I'm gonna sink y'all right in the sea right now. Meteor shower, you know, but, you know, for the sake of the story. Uh, and Aokiji, he could have literally froze, like, Everything he could literally just sunk like like they could have sunk like okay the admirals basically could have jumped in the air Kizaru could have did um, the sacred jewels Akinu could have did the uh, the meteors and um, what's it uh, Aokiji could have did the um, the uh, the ice star, which is apparently located on Pirate Wars, I never seen them do it in the actual show or the manga or anything like that. And they could have did that. They could have ended like the White Beard Pirates. They really could have, like seriously, like the Admirals could have really did because they had like devastating, devastating, earth-ending as fucking devil fruits. Like they 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 really do. They could have really ended all this shit, but I think I guess because of the orders or just trying to show Bravo or. Of like like the military's might and all that stuff like like they really could have ended and with, so going back to what I'm going to now even now I think he's really still holding back against Luffy because Luffy right now is in his awakening so Kizaru have to respond with his awakening he has to because any physical attacks that he does against Luffy even with hockey infused on it if logic can basically add up to it it shouldn't really affect your fifth luffy 
especially the beating that he was getting in uh, Wano. Like, it shouldn't really affect him. Like, he was fighting Kaido, like, mano y mano, hockey infused and everything. Like, he, like, Luffy was taking a lot of shit. So, this should, like, this should be interesting on how the fight should go between uh, Gear 5th Luffy and, um, and, um, and Kizuru. Um, I'm not going to really talk about Zoro and Rob Lucci because they're not here. Uh, my concern is where is Robin? Where is Jinbei? Where is Chopper? Where is Sanji? You know, Kaku probably still laid out too. So yeah, it's, 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 it's a bit of a clusterfuck right about now. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, man, like that's my synopsis on the whole thing with um, this chapter. This chapter is pretty much straightforward. So, yeah. Oh, and we don't have a break next week, so that's good. So, i see y'all next week for the new chapter. And this these upcoming days, you're going to see, um, hopefully everything keeps going right, you will see gameplay from the DLC from Yamato, Kaido, and Gear 5th Luffy, man. Back upload videos like I really want to, working a lot of my sciatic nerve. So yeah. Everything is going slowly but surely back to schedule I mean, back to the usual schedule. So I check y'all out next time, man.